World of Warcraft Battle Royale is a tower defense game. In this game you get two game modes, Career and Arcade. Well you can guess from the names that you do the very same thing in Career and Arcade. You still do tower defenses, but in Career you have some stages, while in Arcade you just go for it. And while playing you can play as 8 different races, each with their own skills. But even if it sounds promising, you can't really feel any difference between those races. It's just aesthetic. You see that you are playing with a different race, but it all feels just as if it's the same. Also in tower defense mechanics, the game isn't that deep. And that gets bothersome fast. The game gets boring in the first 10 minutes you play. And just imagine how it gets later if you already are bored after 10 minutes of the game. There isn't much to do in the game. You place your first defenses. And then you wait. It's not like in other games where you get points faster and have to constantly upgrade your defenses in order to finish a level. Instead of the gameplay being engaging like in other tower defense games, here it's more of a waiting game. You choose from around 3 defense types and then you wait. You wait to make points to make your defenses stronger. The game is boring. You have to wait too much and the game is too easy. World of Warcraft Tower Defense is better. The game implies less waiting and more tower defense action. You can upgrade your defenses and you get enough score to be able to make changes frequently. So the game is more engaging, you don't just place a defense and then you wait a lot like in the previous one. Overall the game is fun. It's a decent tower defense game for normal game standards and a great game for Java standards. World of Warcraft 3 is a turn-based strategy game and I have to admit that it's good and I'm not usually into turn-based games. You have to make some strategic planning, it's not just you going for it in this game. No, you have to make some strategies, which makes the game great. You get a leader that has stronger attacks, that can also buff up teammates or heal them, you have normal short range soldiers and normal long range soldiers, but while the turn based action is great, it's annoying when the game puts you to travel on the map. You can move only in the highlighted circle and you have to maneuver each character. And moving circle by circle is really annoying. But aside of this inconvenience, the game is good, I had fun with it. The game also has a story, but since it's in Mandarin, I have no idea what the characters were talking about. I don't know Chinese. World of Warcraft Frozen Throne is an action adventure. The game starts epic and manages to remain good. The combat is great, you get 7 special abilities, they are shown here. You can use potions and collect items. So you get the usual RPG elements, but the difference is that here the story is linear. You don't get the huge maze of quests and side quests you mostly have in other games. Here you have just main quests. You have some side quests, but they are so few that you could say that you get only main quests in this game. But it doesn't mean that the game isn't great. By constantly upgrading your character and switching up your gear, the game remains interesting, it engages you. So I recommend the game. But beware that I haven't found any English version of the game. I found only a Russian version and a Chinese version. And if you don't know the language in an RPG, you're going to have a really hard time progressing in the game. World of Warcraft Hunter feels like a Monster Hunter game. The game resembles Monster Hunter a lot. The layout is similar. You get a hub world from where you start your missions of hunting. You get a plot that ties everything together and the plot reminds me a lot of the Monster Hunter plot on the PSP. The menu art style looks similar. 
You go on hunting missions and kill small creatures until you get to the big monster of the area. Just like Monster Hunter you need some time to get used to the game mechanics, but once you get accustomed to the game, the game is cute and fun to play. It isn't as deep as Monster Hunter, but it's a nice companion on Java if you're into those games. World of Warcraft Adventures is another great RPG. You get multiple special attacks and you can level up, you can switch up your gear, your weapons, your armor, and just like most RPGs on Java, the plot is very linear. You get a few side quests too, but they are so few that the game is almost completely linear. And because my version had squares as letters, I couldn't progress far in the game because I didn't understood what the characters were talking and I didn't understood what was I supposed to do in the game, but if you get an English version, I recommend the game. From what I've played, I enjoyed it. Invasion of Warcraft Holy Night is a great game. You get a village where you can roam, which is the hub world, and from here you can buy new weapons and armor, you can buy items like potions, and you can take on missions. After you take a mission, you leave the village and get into a beat'em up section. You beat up all of the monsters on a section, then progress onto the next one. As monsters, you get dogs, orcs, and these creatures, whatever they are. So enemies are varied enough. Also the controls are amazing, hits are satisfying, and you can unlock 4 special moves. All in all, the game is great, and I recommend it to you. Even if the game was in some overlapped Mandarin characters and I didn't understand the story, I still had fun in the game. So you don't need to know the language of the game to play the game, and to enjoy it. Invasion of Warcraft 2012 is kinda bad. The game isn't broken, but it's dull, and the fact that you have no idea what the characters are talking about makes the game annoying even because you don't know what you are supposed to do in the game, so you remain stuck. Even if you were to know Chinese, you wouldn't be able to read, because the characters are overlapped. The gameplay itself is a bunch of very good gameplay elements that, when added up together, make up for a bad game. Attacks feel great, jumping feels great, you get different moves, and special attacks, but when you get to play the game, even if each of the elements composing the game are good, the overall experience is washed out. You can see the production value of the game, but for me, it just wouldn't work. I didn't have fun in the game. The game felt boring and not being able to read what is going on made the game even more annoying, because I got stuck. World of Warcraft Wrath of the Lich King offers a gaming experience. It stands out from the usual Java game by its toughness. The game is tough, you will have to try and retry a level multiple times in order to pass. At least the great part is that by constantly trying, you level up. There are 4 zones in the game, and each zone has different enemies and grants you new special attacks. The combat is great, each slash feels satisfying, and there are hazards in the levels too. Overall the game is great, especially for the challenge seeking players. Sure, the game tends to be more of a game where you will die anyway, until you gather enough XP to level up and pass, but even if you could count this feature as a flaw, the game still is fun. I mean, I had fun, even if this would count as a flaw and as a major flaw of the game. I had fun nonetheless, and I recommend it again. Warcraft cartoon version The First Fan is a fan-made game. I've played this before, and it had another title. I don't know what the name of the original game is, but I know that this game circulates the internet with many titles. In the game you choose from 3 characters and go in dungeons and on fields to kill monsters, I don't know what the purpose of the game is because I don't understand the language and because I don't know what's going on in the game and what the purpose of the game is, I won't, 
I went aimlessly in the game and because I didn't have any purpose I got bored fast. So play this game only if you know Chinese. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You will help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and terribly tunnels of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.